हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सर प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक दैट इज सैम्पलिंग ऑफ द सिग्नल सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ दिस टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज सैम्पलिंग सैम्पलिंग मीन्स वी हैव टू सैम्पल द सिग्नल इन डिफरेंट सैम्पल्स स्मॉल स्मॉल सैम्पल्स ओके सो सपोज देर इज ओरिजिनल सिग्नल इज देयर we want to convert that original signal into required form at that time we have to convert that original signal into samples okay so now how we can do sampling so we have to take samples at different time interval okay so at different time intervals we can take samples and then we get sampled signal so in this diagram so original signal is shown over here original signal so which is dotted one this is original signal the dotted signal is original signal that is sinusoidal form this is our original signal okay and we are taking samples at some intervals so this is our first sampling point this is second sampling point this is third fourth so like this sampling points are there or sampling intervals are there at which we are taking samples means we are taking value from original signal we are taking some value from original signal so these are some values from original signal these are samples and we have to connect it and this is our sample signal so this signal is called as sample signal so usually the sample signal is approximate uh, representation of original signal okay it is not exact but it is approximate representation of original signal okay and this period is called as sampling period between which we are taking sample so this is called as sampling period okay so this is sampling period on the time for which we are taking sample it is called as sampling period so like this sampling is done so there are two types of sampling one is proper and improper sampling okay so proper and improper sampling depends upon sampling rate okay so sampling rate should be at least greater than or equal to two times the analog signal frequency of analog signal so here it is written the fs fs means sampling frequency it should be greater than or equal to two times the frequency of analog signal okay this is called as nyquist theorem so nyquist theorem so nyquist theorem means what it is sampling theorem the sampling frequency should be greater than or equal to two times original signal frequency so here in the graphs it is shown on y axis it is amplitude and on x axis it is time or sample number okay so here analog frequency is 0 0 okay that is zero frequency is there that's why the all the samples are on straight line okay now in the second diagram analog frequency is 0.09 of sampling rate okay so that's why we got samples at some locations and we got sine wave something like this now here in third case analog frequency is 0.31 of sampling rate so we got samples at different locations and we got sine wave with more peaks okay so we got more peaks in sine wave and in the last diagram analog frequency is 0.95 of sampling rate okay so in this case we got uh, higher number of sampling points and we got the true re representation of our sampling signal okay so actually fs is equal to 2 times fc means what fc should be 0.5 fs okay so here in the last diagram it is greater than 0.5 that is 0.95 is there that's why you got correct sampling in the last graph okay so here some relation is taken reverse of this okay so that's why we have to take it is up to 0.95 so this is proper and improper sampling so there is one more concept is there aliasing aliasing results into different signal when reconstructed from actual signal okay so it results in aliasing suppose we are taking sampling at very slow sampling rate means what is our sampling rate should be greater than or equal to two times original sampling rate but if if we are taking less than that suppose we are taking sampling at very less speed at that time what happens sampling is done at very uh, less points s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 
and we do not get original representation of our original signal okay so actually our original signal is like this and we are getting the output like this so we are losing some data in this case so that's why this is called as aliasing when the sampling rate is very low and we do not get the sample signal pro improper okay so this is aliasing so in this case you see this is our original signal and after aliasing we are going to get something like this sample signal so which is not true representation of original signal okay that's why it is called as aliasing now we'll see sample and hold operation so now suppose with the help of sampling method we have done samples of original signal we have taken samples now these samples we have to convert into digital form with the help of analog to digital converter so i have written here adc it means analog to digital converter so as we are going to get different samples so each sample will get converted into digital form one by one sequentially okay so sample and hold operation is used in analog to digital converter to stabilize the voltage while it is being converted to digital value okay so we have to stabilize the voltage sequentially so what is written here sample on hold consists of voltage handling capacitor and voltage follower so in the diagram you see here it is capacitor is provided it is called as voltage holding capacitor it holds the voltage okay whatever voltage is coming to it it holds that voltage and this is voltage follower circuit so voltage follower circuit use of voltage follower circuit is to give output voltage equal to input voltage okay so whatever output voltage is there it is same as that of input voltage okay and now when the switch is open so here switch is also provided this is switch okay when switch is open capacitor holds the voltage corresponding to last sampled value and when switch is closed output voltage is equal to input voltage there are two cases when switch is closed now suppose this switch is closed what will happen the output voltage is equal to input voltage okay and when switch will get open what will happen the capacitor will hold that value till next sampling or last sample value will be hold for some time period okay that's why we will see some output v0 for some time period so like this the input sample is sampled and as well as it is hold for some time period okay so that the sample will get converted into digital value okay so like this sample and hold operation is done so this was the introduction to sampling and sample and hold operation so thank you so much all of you for watching this video